Welcome to Thrift Store Rundowns, Hella Hella Halloween Weekend, where for the next two days I'll be bringing you some scary good bargains that will leave you bloodthirsty for more. It's all about adding that Hollywood touch to your Halloween on a budget. And really, could there be anybody better to kick things off than Taylor Swift? Well, actually, yes, several other people. But you know what? I always appreciate buying a little bit of bragging rights in the name of fandoms that I don't usually associate with. Swifties being a prime time example. Hey, I already own three Taylor Swift magazines around here, so she's definitely no stranger to TSR. It's all about building that reputation among the Swifties to be like them, but technically not among them. You get what I'm saying? And speaking of reputation, what I have here for a buck forty-four, yeah. 50% off the price of two ninety-nine. Sorry about the light glaring the price tag. It's the first of a two-volume magazine spread that serves as companions to her album, Reputation. Yes, the Reputation Magazine Volume 1. A Target exclusive. 72 pages worth of poetry and paintings, handwritten lyrics to some of the songs by Taylor, personal photos, fashion portraits, behind-the-scenes video suit photography, and a poster. And both issues, quote-unquote, of this magazine contain the album Reputation in its entirety, featuring the single Look What You Made Me Do. And again, this is a Target exclusive. They're not sponsoring this, but they did do a little behind-the-scenes video to show you how this album and this magazine was put together. Take a look. Here we are doing the album photo shoot in London. I was so excited. As I'm doing background things for the lyrics for the magazine. Just painting about my feelings. These are the first proofs of the magazine that we've been working on. Oh my god! This is amazing. Two exclusive magazines, each with a full album. Only a target. Are you ready for it? So, props to Target for that one. I am a big fan of Target. I don't go there often, but generally, they have some pretty good stuff. But it's all about bringing that scary good touch to this Hallow's Eve on a budget. So, let's get started. I must highlight first, Endgame. And again, this is all handwritten by Taylor. The song is co-written by Taylor and a bunch of other collaborators, like Shellback and Ed Sheeran, who... Does some more vocals here, and Max Martin and Future, among other top-tier talent. But hey, Endgame. Listen up, Taylor. You only capitalized on Endgame. Remember, Pretty Little Liars invented the Endgame. You capitalized on it. Or should I say, mm, reinvented it. Nah, that's too strong a word. You capitalized on it and made it your own. There's nothing wrong with that. But just remember where you got the end game from. And here is my main complaint with this copy. No album. So that's how you know this magazine used to be owned by a major Swifty who would not part with this album for anything in the world. So, I got shortchanged. No album for this copy. And that stinks. But we got a couple of fire looking photos. And I say fire because, well... Taylor's near fire. A burning chair and some wooden planks used as a fire pit. Go figure. I did something bad. And you know what? Whoever previously owned this definitely did something bad in my case because now I don't have the album. Let's go right ahead and show you the video suit photography. Several music videos were shot for several of these standout songs in the Reputation album. And Taylor's assembled some top tier talent to put together those music videos. Like for example here, legendary Oscar winning film special effects makeup artist Bill Corso for Deadpool and The Force Awakens that would be Star Wars. And his team spent six hours meticulously turning live Taylor into very, very dead Taylor. A very crafty job, Bill. I'm only showing you the video suit photography because this issue of reputation has earned just that. A reputation within the 50s of the YouTube community. There are several unboxing and review videos of this issue and the second copy. And both of them in the VIP box and across, come on, the album. 
Now, I'm kind of not mad at Taylor for, well, at the previous Swifty anyway, for not including the album because I don't buy Taylor Swift albums to begin with. But I was also kind of hoping that this copy would include the album so that this would be a knockout way to start this series. And I could say, hey, I got the Reputation album and the first magazine companion, if you will, for a buck forty-four, two for the price of one. How do you like them apples? And then they'll say, look what you made me do. Now I'm crying in envy because that is such an incredible bargain. I'm sounding like a Swifty, right? Well, I can't say that here because, well, no album. But what this does contain is a handmade poster. And I'll say that right now. Look at this. Hand-painted. It looks like watercolor. And it says, is this the end of all the endings? Swift. Right down here. Um, yeah. Very nicely done, T.S. And by the way, this closes out with a poem called Why She Disappeared. It is very signature, very vintage, Taylor Swift. When she fell, she fell apart. Cracked her bones on the pavement she once decorated as a child with sidewalk chalk. When she crashed, her clothes disintegrated and blew away with the winds that took all of her fair weather friends. And in the death of her reputation, she felt truly alive. Now you turn here, and you get sort of a, I don't know, prologue from Taylor Swift about her reputation in the one direction. And how she plans to turn it around by giving her Swifties another side of her that the critics object to seeing. So that's her opening essay right there. And for what it's worth, it's very haunting. In a charming way. Even though this is kind of incomplete. That's why I give this four claps. And as a non swifty not bad. But Taylor, if you're watching this, you owe me a reputation album. No charge. And if you want to build a reputation in the name of fandoms that you are not quite comfortable with, you better breach out of that comfort zone because it's the only way you're going to be truly end game in the fandom community. And the results can be fairly gorgeous. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the strip side!